Dude, there's someone who beat it with like a, like a, electrodes attached to bananas. So he's like lifting and like dropping the bananas and hitting them in certain ways. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on to the next funny. match. Uh, Four Day Freak, Sherbert. Um, Sherbert is um, kind of a, uh, he's a uh, just trying to be an up and comer, I think. But his biggest weakness, though, is that I I really feel like his play is really linear. But he is really good at finding um, a preying on like common rhythm. Um, that players have like he kind of feels when people are gonna dash into him and so he, right. he gets you to run into a lot of his uh, uh, his da uh, his down smashes and then he'll also like push with dash attacks and in, in weird places for a lot of people so he has really good intuition about the game yeah uh, but the problem is um, I don't think he really want like it seems like he's really either hesitant or uh, just unwilling to kind of develop his game beyond that a little bit further because it, it's really just revolves around um, just mashing A back at you, down smashing and dash attacking, <laughs> and that's it. Like it's that's that's his gameplay. And so if you have the spacing to handle it, which I think Forte Freak should, um, assuming he doesn't get tilted, he's he's pretty much a tilt lord. That's as far as he's he's pretty he's pretty tilt heavy. But uh, um, and I don't mean I don't mean four tilts. I mean like he yeah he he, uh, he literally he, he's he's kind people. of an emotional yeah he's kind of an emotional player. Um, so uh, is it? Forte Freak, like a net play warrior? I don't think so. I think I just remember seeing him on net play a lot. I, I have no idea. I mean, I don't play that much net play, so I don't, yeah. I don't, see, I don't <laughs> see all the AZ people on net play. There's a lot of Arizona players. Uh, but I just recognize the name. Uh, but he's, I mean, he moved to uh, Utah oh, has uh, sometime last year. Okay. But he's still, still AZ, like some Tucson. That's tight. Um, so, Four corners. what are Forte Freak's strengths? Uh, Forte's, um, um, he's, mm, I don't know how to put him. Um, he's, he's basically pretty sound overall. Um, he looks for a lot of the, the really common things that Sheik should be going for, and he does them really well. Like, uh, when he gets a grab on you, um, he usually doesn't mess up, you know, down throw forward air. Um, he generally has mostly solid spacing. Um, he doesn't play... Um, he's pretty good at picking up when he's making a lot of blunders. Okay. Uh, but he does lack um, a bit of a, a more polished neutral game. Like, he's pretty easy right. to pick apart. Okay. Um, it's kind of his weakness. Um, you can definitely, like, fake him out. Nice. Um, a little I'm more easily. Excited to watch the rest of this match, then. Because it seems like... It's always so cool about Melee is that people just have strengths to them and they'll always keep those strengths, you know? Something that we won't see even in our play. Mm -hmm. So it's always exciting to see, I guess, people's uh, ideas, you know, put into a character and then shown, you know, to other players. Yeah, another so characteristic right uh, that I think he has is uh, he plays up. Um, he's really good at playing up against people that are better than him. Uh, but at the same time, um, I think he uh, does not necessarily play, always play as appropriately as he should against people that are lower than him. Okay. So that's what we're seeing right here. Like, this matchup should be really easy. Yeah. But um, he is, he's kind of struggling. <laughs> but here we go. He still has advantage, but like, this shouldn't be this close. Yeah, we'll gets see. His, gets his style. It's definitely last stock, last yeah, percent. Last stock. Peach needs a couple of hits, but uh, Sheik should be able to win with uh, definitely down throw a forward air from now on. And yeah. up air. Up air should also close. Here's one of the things that's great about Peach, as many of you know, is her recovery. There's just so much mix up possibility, and because this game has analog input, there's so many ways she can mix up as she floats in. Ooh, they're both at a percent where if. Uh, you know, Forte Freak is off stage. Oh no, he's gonna have he's to go for an to edge guard. Oh, oh wow, the fire didn't kill him though. Oh, and he just goes go. and gets him. Yeah, back air was not. Uh, that was a good trade. That's good by Forte Freak to recognize that in that position, back air, uh, forward air versus back air. Forward air is not gonna kill off the top ever. And back air, as long as he DIs up, will kill off the top. Like even if they trade and, and they both would have killed each other, it was. It was, hit, it, was hit, uh, it was in his favor. 100%. Okay. But here we go, game two to Dreamland. So this is a good counter pick for Peach. Um, generally, yeah, because it just gives her artificial stocks. Um, you just have to, you have to work. Uh, so the ceiling in, on Dreamland is about 38 percent higher than FD. So it actually has the largest discrepancy out of any stage. 
um, and, and all, all the all the neutral, neutrals and counter picks. Okay. Um, so you have to work, you know, basically two or three hits harder depending on your character um, in order to get kills on Peach here. Um, and since Peach is all about that recovery, um, as you pointed out before, um, it just accentuates her strength that much more here. Because um, they, I mean, they both have to hit each other harder here, but. Uh, the edge guards for Peach just revolve around making sure that she just can't return to the stage, where Peach will always be able to return. Blast right. zone, blast zone KOs are the only way you're really gonna kill Peach here. <laughs> Definitely. So yeah, let's see. You know, Forte Freak is already up a stock. So let's see if he can keep that momentum going. Well, <laughs> Gets that chill yep. grab out with the dash attack. That's one of the problems about Peach, too, is she doesn't have that... Both characters, actually, they both have to do uh, hard commits to really call something out in yeah, neutral most, when it comes mostly. to doing aggressive. Yeah. You know, if you're closing space, you know, for instance, there's a lot of times where Forte Freak will uh, put... Uh, Sherbert by the edge, right? And he can use fares to space, but only because there is no space behind them. Yeah. You know? But like, let's say if they're playing a back and forth neutral, they have to call out something, both characters, you know? So you're going to see a lot of dash attacks from both of them, but it's yeah. going to be in a way where they're going to condition them positionally, you know, to call it out. Yeah, most Peach just really like to use dash attack to like push, uh, push people like when they're just just a, like a little bit in the air, just a little bit above them, because uh, the hitbox oh. is deceptively high. Yeah, uh, that was a great edge guard by Forte Freak. He just extended just a little bit farther and was able to actually get the capitalization. It it was really good. Yeah, Forte Freak definitely playing a lot more solid here. Like, I don't know if he made an adjustment or if. Uh, if something's got gotten to Sherbert. I think I want to think that Forte Freak is making the adjustment because it's, it's sometimes it's hard to tell just because of that style of Peach. Right. Um, like, I can can someone who plays like that ever really be off? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Because like usually the, the simpler you make your gameplay, the the less uh, the less, the less technical error. yeah the less technical errors you're likely to make. Yeah. You know, oh. like how many times is like you know Borp SD? You know. <laughs> Well, Dreffen. Sherbert's able to take a stock and has a stitch face. Yeah, Let's great, see great how equalizer. he can capitalize on it. He's holding it, and it held it too long. So Forte Freak cleans that up with the JV3. Right. By the end of it, you notice that he was rolling.